This is a 2007 Malibu 21 VLX in titanium gray and white. Boat is in incredible condition considering how, how old it is at an 07. It's got a fiberglass platform with the rubber top pad on it and a freshwater hookup on the transom as well. It's got a two-point Titan tower with Malibu factory bimini top. It's got the graphic option on here as well. A mostly stock boat, um, aside from a couple of stereo improvements on the interior. It does have docking lights up front. Uh, windshield mounted mirror. And uh, it also includes a tandem axle trailer to match the titanium gray. Performance features include the power wedge and a three tank ballast system. But uh, awesome shape inside and out. Really, really hard to find anything to point out on this as the previous owner took really, really good care of it. And it is a one owner boat. So let's hop inside and check out some of the features on this VLX. All right, guys, we're on the interior of the 0721 VLX. And we'll go through and uh, show you the condition and kind of our setup on the um, on the interior here so as you can see kind of a two-toned interior vinyl with like a uh, kind of like a similar to our silver cloud from Nautique and then a darker gray on the seat base and then we have um, black seat piping full sun pad on the back great spot to lay out in the sun and we have kind of a rubber pad the Malibu logo on it on the fiberglass platform. A rare sight are intact vents on these older Malibus, so super surprised to see that when it came in. Almost every time you see a used one come in, those are all smashed and dented, so uh, a testament to how the pre previous owner took care of this thing. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll break open our storage here. But vinyl's in an awesome, awesome condition. Or that's just a little bit of dirt there if you saw that before. Um, but very few things to point out on the interior of this boat. Um, on the, the seat bags here, you'll see a couple little scrapes. Um, you'll see that in a few different spots there as well. But super light some little little scrapes in the vinyl flip open our hatch we've got storage uh, storage pockets on the underside plenty of room on either side of the engine and then uh, got the table that mounts in the back here on that side we have a big storage tray on top of the engine Super good spot to put uh, ropes and life jackets if you want to warm them up on a cool day. More storage on the other side and the full cover, which is in awesome condition um, with the poles. And uh, one second here. Let's look at our engine. So this is a 5.7 liter Inmar Monsoon. It's a 340 horsepower, if you can see that. Freshly serviced at N3 and ready to go for the whole summer runs super quiet and super smooth so uh, awesome setup on this, this VLX with that engine i believe it was an upgrade that year too from a Mer cruiser um do have the pop-up ski pylon close this up too but pop-up ski pylon and you just twist and it drops close that and your lockers have the perco locks on them um, back center seat has a flip down cup holder as well. And uh, on our inlays, got a several cup holders and some power speakers. 
Um, I'm not sure if that's the brand. I've never actually seen these before. But there's only three or four of them in the boat, and you've got two Rockford Fosgates up in the bow. So those have been added at some point in time. Um, you have a storage compartment down there, which acts as a cooler as well. Drains on down into the bilge if it gets full. Communicating storage into the back. Um, you'll see some staining in the carpet underneath these seats and a, a couple different spots as well as the vinyl, which is normal. And dirt and stuff gets trapped between them if you don't clean it every time you use the boat. Um, your center seat here has service access down into the bilge, um, fuel pump, all right, fuel tank rather, V drive, all that fun stuff, speedometer. Communicating storage on our port side corner. And all these seats just drop in. Nothing's actually held in place other than these ones that have that you see the loops on. Um, so that flips open. You have storage there. And then the leg for the table clips into the side. And if you pop that button out right there um, and flip it, you can use the uh, you can use the table. It's kind of a goofy design, but uh, yeah, you gotta take these out and pop it upside down to use it. If I remember correctly. Um, getting into the shoreline here, so I'll move the boat in a second. But we've got the Titan Tower, which is a two-pointed tower, toe point up top in a bimini. Then he just flips open and clips into these slots. Um, and it does fold forward if you pull the pins that you see here. I'm going to fire this thing up real quick. And take us away from the shore a little bit. There we go. Okay. Let's flip open the glove box storage. Um, or under the glove box, rather. Uh, you've got two batteries with the battery switch on the side and then you've got your amps um, Rockford Fosgate amps mounted on the left under the seat here just flips open you have storage runs all the way down throughout the boat glove box has a nice heavy-duty chrome lid but the chrome is starting to flake so one of the few things to point out on this boat, really anywhere there's been, or anywhere there's chrome on the interior, it's chipping other than on the windshield header, which is in awesome shape. Uh, but again, open that. You got the original boat bag to go along, charging port, all that fun stuff in there. Um, got a mirror here. What's up guys? Um, storage in the walkthrough storage nets and you've got the heater up there so it is set up with a heater um, let's move on over to the dash and the driver's seat super comfy driver's seat in this thing I was just commenting on that talking to Mark a few moments ago hugs you nicely into the seat and you sit down in the boat which is super cool so um, up top you have the other uh, four speakers for the main cockpit of the boat and then you can see the other two up front and if we go under you'll see a uh, Rockford Fosgate amp or I'm sorry subwoofer and that's a 10 inch sub and you've got uh, an adjustment for that right here to the right of the steering wheel um, but super simple setup on the dash you've got analog gauges up top uh, you've got your engine temp and fuel gauges there as well as your power wedge indicator so you can drop the wedge with the uh, button and you'll see that go down and then on the center screen you have cruise control so you can toggle that on or off set your speed with the arrows whatever you want to do and then over on the right you've got a tack and um, that's got your oil pressure engine temp or uh, voltage and uh, and uh, hours over on the left side on the speedo, you have lake depth, lake temp, and air temp. So we're pushing 70 degrees on this water. Hopefully in a week or two we'll be uh, out of wetsuit season, but we'll see. Um, 
Analog switches for really everything else on the boat. Horn, nav lights, interior lights, docking lights, fill and drain for the ballast. And then over here, you've got switches for the heater, open accessory switches, bilge pump and blower. And lastly, the power wedge. Um, this does have the stock weight set up for, um, for ballast. So you've got 900 pounds, I believe, um, on three hard tanks that are subfloor. Um, and again, you just flip the toggle switch to, to fill them and just run them till you hear them peeing out the side. <laughs> um, steering wheel has the Malibu Silver logo on it. And then it does adjust up and down. Again, the rod alarm has some chrome on it. And you can see it's starting to chip off. But uh, so only bad quality of the boat is this chrome starting to chip. And honestly, it looks a lot worse in the video than it does when you're looking at it in person. So not super, super noticeable. Um, so yeah, let's hop up front in the bow. It does have the bow filler cushion which you can remove and just opens up a nice walk through in the bow. And last, if I can get my hand under here. We've got storage under all the seats in the bow. And then those two newer uh, Rockford Fosgate speakers are mounted up here. And you've got the grab rails along the front. So, some good space in this thing. It's a super comfy boat to sit in and hang out in. And it has a lot of space and a lot of storage for a 21 foot boat. So um, it's dialed in and, and ready to hit the lake. Uh, stay tuned, we'll get some run.